Hey, hey, y'all. It's Leah from the Hoodstead. On today's episode of Putting Your Foot in It, we're gonna smoke a brisket. No kitchen, no stove. But I'm gonna smoke me a brisket. This is the uh, grass fed brisket from Butcher Box. So we're gonna put the rub on this so it can sit overnight. Okay, so we're gonna give this a little open open. Patty pat pat and dry it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat this liberally with this dry rub and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and let it um, just marinate overnight. Let's give it a nice liberal coating with this all over. Make sure we get it everywhere, nice and coated, crust it on. Okay, so we're gonna turn it over now, cover it up on this side, get it on these little crackety crack crackies, put this in a, a gallon Ziploc bag. Let it sit overnight and marinate. So, um, yeah, so it's two thirds cups of brown sugar. It is a half a cup of chili powder. It's a quarter of a cup of salt. It is a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of cayenne. And that's what's on here right now. Here it is. I'm just gonna put this in. A little mini refrigerator <laughs> to show you how mini my fridge is. All I got in here is this little bit of stuff and it's full. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. The brisket's been marinating for about 14 hours. I took it out two hours ago to let it come up to room temperature. Okay, so what I'm using is the um, Nordic Ware stove top kettle smoker and I'm going to do this on a hot plate and uh, we're going to see how this goes. Now this smoker came with all the pieces that I needed so it came with uh, two types of wood chips. You have apple and you have hickory. Now I'm going to use hickory so uh, what you do it comes with the, uh, the bottom pan that's gonna go on the burner. And then you have the drip pan, catches all the drippings. I'm gonna wrap this in foil. And then you have the, the grill uh, plate that the meat goes on. And then we have our lovely brisket. Okay, so now you put your stove on medium high heat. You put in one to two tablespoons of wood chips goes in the bottom. Sprinkle it all around in there. Two, I'm gonna do two, cause it's beef and beef can withstand a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna spread this out in here like that. Okay. So later on, I don't have to do any real scrubbing. Okay, and then that goes in the bottom. So, the drip pan goes on top of that. And then we put our lovely brisket right on top, like that. And then we put the lid on. So you put that on. And then we put the thermometer insert that into the hole making sure it does not touch the meat 
depends on, you know, size, heating element, all that good stuff. But that's where we're at right now. So come back in about an hour. We'll check on it. All right, see you in a little bit. Always gotta make sure we, uh, when you're smoking indoors, that you vent it. Y'all know I ain't got no uh, hood over my cooking, so I use a window fan and it sucks all the air out of this whole little place, so. Because yeah, you know it's tiny. So that should be enough. It's literally very close. If it gets worse, then I'll just open the door. Okay, it's been an hour and uh, we haven't even gotten up to 150 yet. So apparently this um, hot plate is not strong enough. I'm gonna try to put it on my induction cooktop and see if that works. All right, I switched them out and uh, see if we get some more heat going. Okay, it has been two more hours. So we have finally reached temperature. So now it should be another two hours. We started this at 3.30. It is now 6.18. So hopefully this will be done by eight, nine o'clock. I'm gonna open it and we're gonna see what the temp is at this point. to the thickest part. We're looking at 160 right now. But the meat still looks very raw. Yeah, it's still it's still bleedy. Alright, I'm gonna give it another couple of hours. Another hour has passed. It is 7.51. Juices are running clear. So I let it sit and uh, let the juices redistribute. So we're going to cut it and see how it looking. It is tender. Oh, it's falling apart. Mm. Let's get in here, let's get in here. It's cooked. Ah, it sounds juicy. Mm. It's soft, it's tender. Look at that. Look at the juice that's coming out of it. It's juicy. So. This is my butcher box brisket. I'll do another one um, when I defrost the pork roast. <laughs> 